Hey guys, welcome back to Data with Dominic, where we help aspiring data analysts, data engineers, and data scientists learn the tools, tips, and the latest tool tips and techniques required to become data ninjas or samurai, should I say. History buffs will get that reference. In today's video, we'll be looking at some of the must-have iPad apps for data professionals and enthusiasts alike. These are apps that really amplify the capabilities of the iPad. I'm sure that most of you will probably agree with me when I say that the iPad is already a productivity beast, but these apps really take it to the next level, especially for data professionals and enthusiasts. So before we dive into our video, um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. We've noticed that most of our viewers are actually unsubscribed, so please do hit that subscribe button as it helps us to uh, grow and continue making videos like these for you. At the outset, let me explain how I've uh, how we've organized this list and the four broad categories into which these apps will fall. The first one is we've called iPad Essentials, and these are apps that you probably already have on the iPad, but they're of great help to data analysts, data engineers, data scientists. Um, the second group we've called Learning. Uh, these are apps that provide great uh, detailed courses and trainings along with resources and material for learning. Some of these apps are generic learning apps and some of these are data specific learning apps as well. So we'll be looking at that in our second category. The third category is productivity and organization. Included here are apps that can, as the name suggests, help boost your productivity and organization as a data professional. and. You, those of you who have experience will probably know these are important um, to help you grow in this field. And finally, we've got um, the implementation or dev category as I've called it. And in this category, we've got some apps that allow you to use your iPad to practice and work on data related applications and scenarios, such as Python, SQL, um, uh, cloud IDEs and stuff. So we'll uh, look at that in our fourth category. So let's begin with our first category, iPad Essentials. The first app on our list is YouTube. This probably comes as no surprise to the vast majority of you. YouTube is an incredibly valuable resource for learning about data related concepts, tools and techniques. There are countless channels dedicated to data an analysis, engineering and data science, along with Python, machine learning and other related topics. And many of them offer completely free tutorials and walkthroughs that can help you learn any and every skill and stay up to date with the latest trends in the industry. Coming to our second app or other set of apps, uh, we've got the files and the books app combo. Uh, this may not seem like uh, an obvious choice for data analysts or data, other data professionals, but they can be incredibly useful tools. With the files app, you can access all of your files and folders in one place, whether they're stored on your iPad or in the cloud on a remote server, as well as uh, acting as a great place to store and organize various resources such as cheat sheets or technical books that you have come across in your journey as a data professional. With the Books app, you can easily download and read technical books and manuals which can help you stay up to date with the latest data analysis techniques and tools both of these apps can help you stay organized, productive, and top of your data-related learnings and projects. Now moving on to the learning category. Our first set of apps in this category include Udemy and Coursera. So these are incredibly powerful learning apps uh, which cover a vast range of subjects, but they are very useful for data analysts and scientists. They cover a wide range of data-related courses from analysis and visualization to all the way to machine learning and artif artificial intelligence. With these apps, you can learn at your own pace, schedule your own uh, tests, and basically they allow you to stay up to date any place that has an internet connection. And you can also earn certificates and credentials to demonstrate your knowledge and skill to potential employers. It's important to note that uh, they do charge a nominal fee. Coursera charges a nominal fee when you want to download a certificate of completion and uh, Udemy charges a nominal, nominal fee for any course that you want to undertake, but they are well worth their prices. We'll be doing a video on some of our favorite courses on these platforms, uh, which will be coming out soon, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss that video. Um, next in learning, 
we've got data camp and now data camp is my favorite app in this list by far it is a fantastic resource for data enthusiasts and professionals who want to learn new skills or enhance the existing ones so with the data camp app you can access a vast library of interactive courses and practice exercises on various topics including data manipulation data vis uh, machine learning and more the app's interactive learning platform provides a hands-on experience allowing you to code along with the video tutorials and test your knowledge with interactive quizzes and challenges additionally the app offers personalized recommendations based on your progress and interests so you can continue to develop your skills and knowledge in specific areas overall this app is an excellent way to learn data related skills on the go and at your own pace making it in an invaluable tool on the ipad for data enthusiasts or professionals many of the tools um, are hidden behind a paywall with data camp there is a subscription fee uh, but most of the time you can find it at a discount and it is well worth uh, the cost Finally, let's move on to our productivity and organization section, which is our third section. And the first app on our list is GoodNotes 5. GoodNotes 5, as most of you might know if you've uh, used one of the iPads that has an Apple Pencil, is a note-taking app that allows you to take handwritten notes, uh, fully utilizing um, the new method of input that is the Apple Pencil. It's a great tool for professionals who like to learn and take notes while learning and sort of cu curate their notes so that they can refer back to them at later points in time when they need some information at a moment's notice. Similarly, you can use good notes to take notes during meetings or brainstorm. It's easy to draw diagrams. You can make your architecture uh, diagrams with this good notes app. So it is a vital productivity and organization tool for any modern data professional. Next up, we've got Notion. Um, I don't think Notion needs any introduction. Uh, data professionals can use Notion to keep track of their projects and their tasks all in one place. We'll be doing a video on our entire uh, Notion setup for uh, data professionals coming out soon. So again, another reason for you to subscribe. And finally, uh, we come to the implementation and dev category. And we begin this uh, category with our stalwarts, Excel and Sheets for iPad. Spreadsheets are an essential tool for any uh, competent data enthusiast or professional. So the iPad versions are no exception. These apps allow you to create, edit, view, and analyze spreadsheets on the go. They come loaded with most of the same powerful features that we've grown used to from their desktop relatives. So definitely a must have on your iPad. Next up, we've got Pyto. Pyto is quite an interesting choice. It is uh, a Python IDE for iPad and allows you to run, uh, write and run Python code on the go. So it's a perfect app for some of you uh, data professionals who want to experiment with different data analysis techniques and algorithms. Um, it has many useful features like syntax highlighting, code completion, and debugging tools. Uh, so for a lot of you uh, Python fanatics out there, it's a must have on your iPad. Uh, there's another app, Pythonista as well. Pythonista is a paid app and slightly better, but if you are on a budget, definitely look at Pyto. Um, and finally, the last app in our list is the Humble Browser. That is on the iPad, Safari and Chrome, most would say. These apps are powerful tools for modern data analysts, data engineers, and data scientists because it allows you to access cloud-based uh, IDs such as Google Collab, um, Azure, Databricks, uh, and more. Uh, these, are, these online IDs provide an efficient way to develop, test, and deploy data analysis or data engineering code without requiring any local installation of software. And with these cloud-based IDs, you can co collaborate in real time with other analysts uh, and various other data professionals, making it easier to share code, ideas, and knowledge. These days, with the rise of uh, cloud computing and various um, uh, data offerings that come in the form of platform as a service offerings or software as a service offerings, most def uh, data professionals are working in their browser anyways. Uh, so if you hook up your iPad um, to, the, to a mouse, a keyboard, and a monitor, you've pretty much almost replicated uh, the environment you're used to. So uh, we're not too far away from a 
from an from a time when we can use our data use our iPad as our one stop solution for all data needs. Uh, but the time is not here yet. It's close, but not here yet. And that brings us to the end of our video. These were our must have iPad apps for data enthusiasts and professionals. And these apps will help you stay organized, productive, and on top of your data analysis projects. If you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon, and share this video with your friends as it helps us grow. And we'll see you in the next one.